surprise. Happy Sunday, friends. Um, I'm hoping this video will go up on a Sunday, but I decided to just on a whim film my prep for the week on a Sunday and I'm kind of excited about it. We actually don't have a whole lot of like cleaning stuff to do. It's more like errands and groceries. We need groceries so bad. I also need to get tomorrow's plan with me video filmed and get that bedding washed because oh my god. Um, so that's really what we have planned. I thought it would be fun to do one of these. I wanted to do one for so, so long and I'm finally starting to feel like on the mend from this like upper respiratory junk. Like thank goodness I don't have COVID or strep or the flu, but the doc was like, it's just gonna take time. It'll go away. So I also think that all of the drainage and stuff is being aggravated by allergies, which totally sucks. So <clears throat> yeah. Just gotta keep pushing through and, and get stuff done because some of the areas of my house need some help and we definitely need food. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me today. All right, so I did a ton of meal planning last night and I started using my Cariel meal planner and I am loving this thing. It comes with a grocery list tear off thing, but I needed a lot of stuff. So I used the page next to it, which is blank, to sort of do what I've done before with my meal planning, which is like break it up by category because we needed so many other things. But I do have like what we're having for dinner each day, which is going to be super helpful. So I'm excited to go get some some groceries done. So before I head out the door, I actually need to see what time the pharmacy opens because I have a refill to pick up and also what time the car wash opens because my car wash is in like, it's, it's so bad. I'm glad I didn't go yesterday though because it stormed pretty bad here and it was it was like torrential downpour. We got a break for a little bit and then around eight or nine o'clock at night it started all over again. I mean there was some loud thunder and lightning that like scared the crap out of me. Um, but yeah, it's it's not fun. Okay, so Walgreens is already open. Now let's check for the car wash. So everything that I have to do, like groceries, pharmacy, car wash, is all on the same street, all within a half mile of each other. So I really try to do all of these things at the same time so I don't have to leave the house multiple times. So I totally don't mind because working from home these days, I don't leave the house very often. So this is like a nice little outing for me. <laughs> okay, so the car wash doesn't open for another hour, but the way that I'm thinking is that I can go to the pharmacy, get done what I have to get done there, go to the grocery store. I don't really wanna do the car wash with the groceries in the car, but it's the like most efficient use of my time. Oh, but before I leave, I should probably go put my bedding in the washer. So I just fell down like the biggest TikTok rabbit hole. Like TikTok can be your worst enemy or your best friend. But there's this lady on there who is like in a battle with her neighbor over where their trash cans are sitting. <laughs> it is like hilarious. I'm like, that is some shit that would happen to me. But this um, neighbor also gets really mad when her neighbor's tree, when the leaves blow off the tree and blow into her yard. <laughs> So every morning she blows the leaves back over to her neighbor's side and then wets them with a water hose so that they won't blow back. <laughs> and this lady on TikTok shares like all the ring videos. So it's not like she's making this shit up. It's like it's on her ring camera, the stuff that her neighbor does. And I'm just like, Lord Jesus, I hope that I never end up with a neighbor like that because she will have met her match. <laughs> anyway. Bedding got into the washer, great. It's gonna take like forever and forever because I put it on like the super hot bulky sheet cycle and it says it's gonna take like 25, not 25 minutes, God, almost like 100 minutes to 115 minutes. I'm like, okay, I got stuff to do, peace out. Um, so I'm gonna head to the pharmacy. I have a prescription that I'm hoping I can transfer from on post to Walgreens for convenience purposes. Obviously it's gonna cost me out of pocket to do it this way, but it's like, when am I gonna have time to drive all the way on post? It's not super convenient for me to do that, to get this thyroid medication refilled, which obviously gets refilled all the time because it's a medication I will be on forever and ever. So I'm gonna see if I can go in and take care of that and grab an eyeliner because this morning I ran out. And uh, yeah, I just use drugstore eyeliner because it's cheap and it works. And anyway, let's get this stuff done. Okay, so the pharmacy was a bit of a fail on my part. What 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 do we have going on here? 
Um, so the pharmacy is open. However, it's like the store part is open. The pharmacy opens at nine. So, uh, that's my bad. But, um, I'm just gonna go to the grocery store. That's like priority number one and I'm determined to get there before like the whole freaking town does. So that's where I'm headed. And I didn't order groceries this week because um, it just, I, I can never find a good time. It was like, do you want your groceries at Sunday at 9 p.m.? I was like, no, no, I don't. 9 a.m. would have been great. Um, also, I've just had so many issues with the produce that they pick. It's crap. Like, it's like they pick the bananas that are like good for a day or strawberries that already have mold on them. And I'm just like, I'm, I'm just going to go in myself and get it done. Maybe it's a good excuse to get Starbucks too because there's a Starbucks inside this grocery store. <sighs> Something's gotta go right today. Something has to go right today. <laughs> All right, I am done at the grocery store. Oh my God, even at like nine o'clock in the morning, it is so, so busy. So I am going to run over to the car wash and hope that the line isn't very long. And then I can knock like one more thing off of my list of things to do and then swing by the pharmacy now that they're actually open. I am home from getting all of the things done. Groceries are out on the counter. Let me show you guys what we grabbed. And it's more than our typical week, so we spent about like $250, but there were some things that we don't obviously buy every single week um, in this grocery trip. So yeah, it, it, was, it was still a lot though. Okay, so we completely ran out of snacks, like all the snacks. So got some goldfish crackers, some Nutrigrain bars, granola bars, fruit snacks, chips, donuts, because donuts, um, a couple of cookies and Pop-Tarts. Nathan has been loving the Pop-Tarts that don't have the frosting on it. Kind of shocked. I found this Ritz seasoned coating mix. I actually might try this tonight for dinner, but then I also grabbed our usual shake and bake, a couple of things, a chicken broth, some soy sauce. The kids actually like this organic one rather than the um, just regular soy sauce. This one does taste a little bit different. I, I personally like it too. Box of macaroni and cheese, some thin spaghetti, some brown gravy for my beef tips and gravy. I actually take a packet of brown gravy, a packet of Italian dressing, and a packet of ranch. And that's what I throw in the crock pot with my beef tips. Uh, Rouse marinara because Rouse is amazing. I needed some more stevia for my coffee. Let's see, flossers for everyone's bathroom. Some more of the Downy Unstoppables. I hate how stupid expensive those things are. Got some biscuits for breakfast on the weekends or pretty much whenever. Bunch of yogurts. Pasta because it's easy and inexpensive to add to any meal. Paper towels because we need paper towels. I got a couple of cans of pink beans. These are my favorites. A couple of cans of tuna. Sometimes they make this ahead of time so that the kids or any of us, me or Jesse, can make tuna sandwiches throughout the week if we want it. Some black beans to go with some meals this week. Some refried beans. A couple packages of chicken that I need to split up because they are massive. Some tilapia because that is on the meal plan. Um, I got some of the Bantam bagels, the everyone's favorite. Actually, it's just mine and Kayla's favorite, but you know what I mean. It's the everybody's favorite stuffed bagels. These things are freaking amazing. They are so, so good. So I think I might actually make them tomorrow morning because Jesse's off from work, um, even though it's a Monday, but we all have extra time for breakfast. So I think we might do that. I got a few bags of frozen vegetables because we were completely out. Also, this Cheesecake Factory bread. My entire family is obsessed with it. It is their famous brown bread. It is so good toasted up just with some butter on it. It's like, oh my God, you have to try this if you haven't already. Eggs, because we were going through eggs like crazy. And then just a loaf of bread, which honestly, I wasn't sure if I needed because I didn't check the freezer before I left. But if I didn't need this, I'll put this in the freezer and pull out an older loaf if I need to. Then I grabbed a couple packages of bacon. One will go in the freezer. Um, I, I am honestly like baffled as to why bacon is so expensive, but this was $3 off. So I grabbed two. I grabbed some diced ham so that we can add to eggs throughout the week for breakfast. 
whole bunch of different types of cheese. I was actually going to buy some cubed cheese and then just decided to get the big block and I would just cut it up myself. So I have shredded, blocked, and sliced. We are a cheese-loving family. Also grabbed a couple boxes of cereal. We don't need cereal a whole lot, but it's nice to just have a few things that everyone likes. Now, as far as produce goes, I went ahead and got a bag of lemons. We've been going through those like crazy. I got a bag of the Tangelos. Um, I like these. These are really good, especially this time of year. I got a few tomatoes for some recipes that we will need for this week. I got a bag of the tricolor peppers. We love these with cream cheese and everything bagel seasoning. I did get a bag of Brussels sprouts. This was more for me. I'm the only one in the family who likes Brussels sprouts, but I like oven roasting these with some bacon. Absolutely delicious. I needed a bell pepper. I have one in the fridge, but I need one for later on in the week, so that's going to be for that. Red potatoes on the meal plan. Syrup that the kids left out. I did not buy that. <laughs> some bananas. I got a couple packages of raspberries and strawberries because they were on sale. I'll be honest, normally I just rinse these and put them in a different container with like a paper towel, but today I'm actually going to try the rinse with the vinegar and see if that actually makes a difference. All right, so that's everything from the grocery store. Um, my kids were like, what are you doing? Because I told them not to put everything away right away. They are like little soldiers. When I come in and I drop groceries, they come down and they immediately start putting everything away. And I was like, wait, I have to film it. They were like, yeah, let us know when you're done. <laughs> so we're gonna get everything put away. Probably, um, nope, it's only 10.30, so it's not lunchtime. But I'm probably gonna put my feet up for a little bit and, catch up on some content stuff that I kind of didn't do over the weekend pre-plan before I film my plan with me because I actually haven't looked at my planner to see what it is that I am planning. So yeah, got to get that done. I went ahead and got started with cleaning our strawberries. I did add a little bit of vinegar to the water, like I said I would earlier. Um, I definitely enjoyed this process of cleaning the berries because you could really, really see just how dirty they still were. The, the raspberries didn't seem quite as dirty, but I went ahead and did the vinegar rinse anyway. All right, so there is what the water looks like from the strawberries. Absolutely disgusting. Oh my god so i've rinsed the strawberries over there in a strainer and i'm going to go ahead and cut them up and store them away but for the time being i'm just yeah this is so gross wash your fruits all right strawberries are all cut up and ready for the week i use the rubbermaid brilliance i believe is what they're called containers they seal really well and help your fruits and veggies stay nice and fresh all week long. Here is what the water for the raspberries look like. Not nearly as bad, and luckily I don't have to cut those up, so just uh, rinsing those off and then gonna put them in a container. Okay, so these are the exciting things that you order from Amazon in your 40s. <laughs> I got a new uh, weed trimmer, weed eater thing. We've actually had this brand a couple of years ago. Um, it died after having it for five years. And then we tried a different brand and it was absolutely horrible. So I went ahead and ordered like basically a newer version of the Works Weed Eater. And I'm so excited. It literally just arrived from Amazon, but it's a little too wet outside to try it out today. But I'm just, I'm glad to have something that I love back because it really sucks to do yard work with tools that you hate. All right, I am upstairs in my chair, like my <laughs> side chair, my favorite chair ever that um, I love hanging out in. I decided to make myself some coffee because it is noon and I am already exhausted. I feel like I have done so much, but this is typically how my Sundays go because before dinner on Sundays, I don't want to have to do anything else. I want to be done with all the cleaning, all the meal prep, the groceries, the organizing, all of the things because come dinner time, I just want to have dinner and then after that just relax, like truly truly relax and go into the week knowing that I I went in as prepared as I possibly could be. It's not always perfect, but I try to do as much as I can. Also, one of the things that has changed since I started working from home, I have a hair trying to poke me in the eyeball is that I don't get gas on Sundays quite as often. So I used to have to fill up every Sunday. Now it's like once a month or so. I just don't drive as much. And it's one of the things that has left us thinking like what will be my next vehicle? My current vehicle is a 2019 Toyota RAV4. Um, it's on a lease. So 
my lease will be ending within the next year. And yes, I researched that far out for our next vehicle because I'm just not sure I wanna keep this vehicle. We haven't decided. I keep going back and forth on whether or not I want a sedan. Like these are the things that keep me up on night at night. Do I want a car? Do I want a small SUV? Do I want a bigger SUV? Like, I, I feel like at this stage of life, I need to think further out, like what it is that we wanna do. We love traveling by road, so I think going down to a smaller vehicle is not smart, especially because we have pets and they would be coming with us. <sighs> So it's tough, but we don't, we also don't move as much as we did in the past. So we always relied on having a bigger vehicle to get us from one duty station to another. So it's tough. Jesse has a pickup truck. I don't find that ideal for traveling because that then things are in the bed of the truck, not as accessible. It's a whole thing. So we've kind of been doing some research. We'll probably decide over the next six months what we're going to do, but yeah, this is one of the things we're trying to decide <laughs> in our lives is uh, what's going to be our next vehicle. Also, I quickly wanted to share with you guys some skincare stuff that I have absolutely been loving. I've been using it for about a month now, and I actually picked up another item to add to my skincare routine. I have found that... Um, as I'm getting older, things are getting dry <laughs> and uh, yeah, dry and flaky. And I'm not used to it because I swear my entire like adolescent, teen, early adult years, I was oily, like gross oily, like all the time. And I've noticed like more so in the last year to year and a half that like my skin is so dry. Everything is suddenly drying out. It's, it's not cute at all. So... I started trying out some CeraVe products. I also started following um, Dr. Dre on YouTube. I subscribe to her channel. You guys, it doesn't matter what age you are in. She has some really great skincare tips for you. And she recently had a video for like skincare for, she, she does it by like decades. So she has skincare for your 20s, skincare for your 30s. And she recently uploaded one for skincare in your 40s. And so much of it I was like that's what's happening to my skin so I started switching over to some CeraVe products to try out and I I'm like why am I the last person to discover this brand it's like everything isn't completely fragrance free but I feel like the fragrance is so low it is very not irritating to my skin so let me show you guys what I have been trying and the additional item I grabbed today all right, so this face wash is something that actually Jesse had before I got a chance to try it, and I'm still on the fence about this. I really am. I use the makeup eraser to get my makeup off, and then I've been using this to wash my face. It's not, it's not bad. It does leave my skin very soft and clean, which is good. I'm just not used to it, I think, so that's kind of why I'm still on the fence about it, but it is a good cleanser. Now, this moisturizing cream, I feel like it has been a game changer for me. I know that's like very an overused statement when it comes to things that YouTubers share, but for some reason my camera does not want to focus. But I did try the moisturizing cream that does have the hyaluronic acid in it. It has, does it say how much? It probably does. It's just in a very small print that I cannot read. Anyway, this is the moisturizing cream. I have never in my life used a cream on my face. I have always stuck to lotions um, because I was scared that creams would like destroy my face and create like a massive acne breakout. So far so good with this. I'm, I'm really loving it. I just got this small tube because this stuff's not cheap and I was like, let's try it in a small amount and see how I feel about it. So far, really, really love this stuff. The other thing that I've been using for about a month now is the CeraVe uh, vitamin C serum. Now I've I've been using vitamin C serums for quite some time, but not this one. I highly recommend vitamin C, especially if you are getting a little bit older. Um, it just you know helps with all the things. Um, it does say it's developed by dermatologists, all that fun stuff. I don't really like the packaging that it's in, but it's whatever. I do use it every day. It is highly recommended if you use vitamin C, you use a sunscreen. Obviously, you should use sunscreen no matter what, but I really like this vitamin C. Non-irritating. It doesn't sting. I put it on after I wash my face, let it soak in for a little bit, and then I put on the face cream. But today, 
I got the Skin Renewing Retinol Cream. And I've heard really great things about the Skin Renewing Retinol Cream and it's great for reducing the look of fine lines and wrinkles. And let's just face it, I'm in that age where <clears throat> the fine lines and wrinkles are making their way through. <laughs> so whatever I can do to try and help slow that down because aging is inevitable and I just wanna age a little bit more gracefully. So I'm gonna try out some of this. Uh, retinol serums sometimes make me nervous, but again, with some face cream and some sunscreen, I think I will be just fine. Also, this just quickly turned into a favorites video, but I have to share this. Sam over at Happily a Housewife shared this little charging station that she got on Amazon. So I went ahead and grabbed it this past week. Ignore my fingerprint covered phone, but I love this thing because I can charge my AirPods my phone and my watch. It has the little thing for the pencil, but I have the iPad Pro, so my pencil is different. It won't charge on there, but it is awesome. I love this thing, like your phone. I do have to take my cover off, not a big deal. My cover comes on and off pretty easily. I love that my watch is here. It just replaces all the cords, and I feel like my nightstand looks just less messy. <laughs> so I'll put a link for this down in the uh, description box for you guys. Next up, I started putting away my laundry. If you guys have been around here for any amount of time, then you know that putting away laundry is probably my least favorite chore. However, I had not put away laundry pretty much all week, and there's really nothing worse than starting off the week with not being able to find your clothes, your clothes being completely wrinkled from sitting in the basket all week. This is definitely a habit I have been working on for a very, very long time, so, Filming videos like this have definitely helped me stay motivated and making sure that I start the week off with without piles of laundry in the laundry basket. Okay, so I'm finally sitting down to kind of touch base with my planner and just kind of check off things that I have done or just look at things that I haven't done yet. So I have gone to the pharmacy, I have done groceries, I have gone to the car wash. I still need to fill my prescription container for the week and then everything else is kind of done at the end of the day as far as doing my daily delete, like going through my phone and getting rid of pictures that I don't need, a photo of the day that I'm gonna keep and possibly print. Um, I've actually already watched a YouTube video today. I, I kind of make it a point every day to listen to a podcast or a YouTube video from a friend of mine just to help support them. Um, and then I've got all of my business to do's today and those of course are happening kind of like as we speak. And so here's my schedule. I have temporarily moved back into the A5 Plum Paper Daily. I have a big issue with this planner simply because they keep a color scheme for like three months straight and so the next like all of april and the next two months are peach like progressively peach getting darker and darker it's it's a bit much they have a new modern color scheme which i love but they don't have it in a5 a5 they only offer in one color scheme which just baffles the hell out of me so i'm a little salty because i absolutely love this size this is the size that I have loved for since last year, since I started using it. I switched to the seven by nine because they had the modern color scheme and I just, I love this size so much more, but I just wish that they would offer it in more than one color scheme. A5 is such a popular size, so I don't quite get why they do this, but here I am still using it. So I'm gonna get ready to film my plan with me. I have my stickers selected for the week. I I haven't used a Chrissy Ann Designs kit in a few weeks, so I decided to pull this one out from the $2 Tuesdays that she's had recently, and I'm gonna get started with doing that. All right, so next up, every Sunday, I do take my pill container and I fill it for the week with any medication and vitamins that I need to take every single day. I have been absolutely loving this pill container. I believe I mentioned it in last month's favorites video, but this is still definitely a favorite. I love the colors for each day that it's labeled for every single day and it's honestly perfect for travel as well. So this is a really great container for sorting your meds and vitamins. Now it's time to get the sheets and the bedding back on the bed now that everything has been washed. There is seriously nothing better than fresh sheets and a fresh comforter 
for the week. I absolutely love it. Now, getting the sheet on our mattress can sometimes be a little bit of a struggle because our mattress is pretty thick, but still, nothing beats fresh sheets. I also love this room spray, this stress relief from Bath & Body Works, it smells great. While I was getting all of that done, I had the Roomba running downstairs. We do use our Roomba about two to three times a week, mainly because the Roomba can get under furniture like the coffee table, that cabinet right there, under our sectional, and I just feel like the Roomba does a better job of cleaning the, um, the floors a few times a week. All right, so the Roomba is still running, as you can hear. That's the only downside about the Roomba. I love that she gets under like all of the parts of the sectional and under, under some cabinets and places that are just hard for me to reach with a regular vacuum, but my God, the downstairs takes like an hour. I think her average time is like an hour and 15 minutes for the downstairs and I'm just like, really? I got stuff to do. <laughs> All right, everyone, that is it for today's Sunday prep video. I hope that you guys enjoyed spending some time with me today. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.